This spring, I had the chance of a lifetime. I was given a really cool tour of Puesta del Sol, a net zero building in my school district, Bellevue. Puesta is a green building and green building is a system. Today, we're going to look at one element of this system. Energy conservation through a building envelope. One of the first things to consider while building a green building are the building materials themselves. These materials will be used to separate the outside climate from the inside. Even non-net zero buildings have an envelope. A building envelope is kind of like the one we use for letters. It's the stuff that makes up the walls, floors, and ceilings to prevent heat, rain, snow, and air from entering and escaping. Think fluffy insulation, sturdy double-paned windows, and unbreakable concrete. The envelope encases the building, just like it would a letter or your electricity and water bills. Let's say I have a cup of hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate. If I put it in a plastic or paper cup, it would lose heat really quickly, and I don't like cold hot chocolate. So instead, I put my cocoa in an insulated mug with a tight lid and I wrap it in a towel. The hot chocolate, I mean building envelope, is what materials make up the mug and the lid and towel holding the hot cocoa's heat in. The better the materials for keeping the chocolate warm, the longer your cocoa will remain delicious. At Puesta del Sol, they tackled the building envelope so carefully, an entire room was designed to keep the outside air outside. This room is the front vestibule, where most people enter the building every day. Take a look at the second floor. Instead of being a normal balcony with air free flowing to the entire school, this room is contained. The air is trapped. Freezing cold or boiling hot, outside air has one extra barrier to pass through before disrupting the climate-controlled building interior. Talk about a seal. Because the room is self-contained, the bigger inside room doesn't have as many changes in temperature, meaning energy, and money, is saved. Having a building envelope is all about the energy. The building needs to be kept at one temperature. Let's say 70 degrees. There are two ways to do that. Focus on heat production or focus on heat retention. Now, this is a net zero energy building. So we want our energy use to be way down. The most climate friendly option is to retain heat. Although initially it's more expensive to acquire the materials and construct the building, over time, the energy savings will pay for itself and have less impact on the environment. Today, we looked at one small part of green building, but Puesta isn't alone. What's happening here matters to my school district. When I go to the Bellevue School District website, I see their sustainability policy. Bellevue is one of the first districts in Washington to have a sustainability policy. Green building is also important to my city, Bellevue. When I go to my city's website, I see this pie chart. Energy use in buildings is half the problem, but we have a whole plan to solve it. My city is part of a climate alliance with 18 other cities called K4C. Look it up. Time for another bonus fact. Walls typically have an insulation value, an R value, between 13 and 23. Plus, those walls have an insulation value of 28. Super cozy.